All right, so we're doing a little bit of coyote trapping today by running footholds. Coyotes like to use bottom low land because they're predatory animals, they like to hide themselves. As you see here, we have coyote traps in the road. We have them here, and we have them here, and we have multiple coyotes scattered throughout the bottom part of this field. These are two pinch points that come in together, so they're focusing many types of animals from small game up to large game, and that's what predatory animals like to, lie, are, like to hunt, which is the edges. And mice like to use embankments, which they like to eat. So that's our location. We're going to go ahead and cut the uh, trap bed out. That's location. We're doing the location to that, so I'm just going to kind of cut the shape of this trap out. It ain't got to be nothing fancy. Just want to get the point across here, guys. I'm going to cut it out a little bit. Take a loose dirt and set it up there. The more ground you disturb, the more you have to pack. And these animals, for some reason, don't like loose soil too much, even though they run field edges. It's still a smart animal. So we're just going to make us a bed. Just enough. We're doing a flat set. So you want to be, you know, a finger width, not even much, below the ground. We're going to take our anchor and our trap driver. Wolfing anchors are awesome. Love them. We're gonna we're gonna center it up in our bed. Some people like to offset them, some people don't. I don't. We're gonna go ahead and drive it in. Drive it in a little bit deeper because we're in soft ground, we're in farmland. So these guys do run equipment here and the ground is soft. We're just going to kind of stomp our hole out. Some people set the wolf anchors. Some, sometimes you don't have to. They'll set themselves when the animal pulls. So now we're bedded. Well, we're not bedded, but now we're anchored. Make sure we got the size of our trap kind of snug. And we're looking pretty squared up. I'm going to open this up and set it. I'm running MV550s offset. It's got a night latch on it. So if you're sitting at night, you can hear. If you listen, you can hear a click. Don't have to set that pan, that pan's ready to fire. No problem. They come like that out of the box. Easy. We're just gonna make a little room to drop this chain in. I like to see what we got here, guys. I'm gonna wobble it down. I'm gonna turn it a little bit. Make sure she's set. Looks like we got a little bit of play. That's all right. Part of the packing deal. You wanna twist your trap a little bit. Try to get it firm. Looks like we got a little bit of movement underneath the jaw. So I'm gonna put a little bit of dirt underneath there. I do have uh, poly field underneath the trap, tongue. So this way, no dirt gets up underneath there. So this way, when ammo steps on it, it will fire. So we're just gonna get a little bit of dirt there so the jaw can support up on it. And really, if you do it right, so you don't move much at all. Now packing is important. Because when this animal comes to step on it, you want stuff to be firm. You ever step on anything soft and moves underneath your foot, you pick it up, right? At least I do. Not about you folks at all. Yeah, we're pretty solid. Fill it in a little bit of time, guys. You notice how we're staying flush with the ground. Nice and flush. You want to stay flush with a flat set. We're not doing a step down. Take a little bit of this dirt that we got on this lid. Try to put it in our screen. Screen it out so we don't get much in there. Very important. Take the back of your hand in case the trap is to fire. If it fires on your open hand, it hurts your fingers. That's why you always use the back of your hand. You just want to palm off your tongue so you can see it. See that tongue. And you know, make a triangle shape. Tamp that dirt around. You want to make it solid, guys. Nice and solid.
So it looks like we need a little bit more dirt. So I'm gonna go get a little bit more dirt from a side location. A bit of dirt, a little bit discolored. That's normal. All right, go find our tongue again. There's our tongue, fellas. Now this trap will fire out of this. Give us a little bit more dirt up here. We're just trying to blend it. Still can find my tongue. Find that tongue right there, guys. You can leave a little bit of divot to encourage them to step where you want to step. But that is solid. As long as you're solid. And that's what you got right there. Now we're gonna blend it a little bit. Get a little bit of different dirt. A little bit of a blend. See how you turn that red into a regular dirt blend? Give us a little bit of grass, guys. Let's see if we can chop it up a little bit. Might not work out as good, but you just want to break the contrast up. That's all. These little sticks right here, I won't worry too much about. You know? Just about blending, fellas. It's a little bit too, it'll age it. Hopefully it's not sitting there that long. There we go. We're gonna take the steak driver now and we're gonna punch holes for the bait. So the bed of my trap, and my trap, my trap tongue, I know is right here below my fist. All right? A lot of people like to offset the holes or bait holes. Some people like to put them straight on. In this particular case, it doesn't really matter. It's about distance. So you got to think about when a cow steps down, his neck is long. So where we're going to put these holes is a little back. Some people say, you know, they argue the point too far back, too far. You know, I usually try to spread my fingers out like this right here. And that's usually good enough for me. And I do two holes. So I punch one in. And now I like to on an X, if you draw an imaginary X on your holes, punch the other hole in. This way this animal does a little bit of footwork and he works his head back and forth. Notice I'm punching these holes where there's a little bit of brush because they don't like to, they won't work it from the back. You do an angle hole, they're going to work it from the front. You want to approach the front. And the key is, is to do this hole on an angle so he can't see in there. You want to make him come up and over and look down in your hole. That's the whole idea behind a flat set. So now that we've got our holes punched, our sets here, now we're gonna come and bait. Take a couple sticks. We're gonna dig in here and we're gonna run some lure. This looks like that K9. We're gonna try this one. No bullshit lures. You don't need much of this stuff, guys. Like I said this stuff is real, real strong. When you are baiting your trap, try not to bait over your trap. Because if you drop some, this animal's obviously gonna dig here where your trap is and not fire, he'll flip your trap over. So you want to approach and bait from the side in case you do drop some. Like I say, you don't really need much, guys. Because K9's got really good noses. You want to get that down in there real good and deep. So you got to work the hole. There we go. I'm going to throw this lid on there. And we're going to give it a little bit of a... Uh, let's see here. We might give it a little bit of a... Uh, uh, Gator oil is digging oil. We might give it a little bit of wind walker, a little bit of skunk essence. See how skunky it is still. A good trapper, it smells bait. It's still skunky. So now we're gonna put some in on this side here. Get some on this stick here, real good. Drip a little bit. That should catch his attention. We won't get that on down in the hole. Like I said, it don't take much, fellas. Don't take much at all. And we're gonna cap that. And Pretty straight set right there, fellas. 
Now that we have our trap set and have our bait in the ground, we are now going to flag it to make it friendly for the landowner. So this way he knows where these traps are, when he's running his farm equipment or whoever he lets on the property to identify where this trap is so we don't have any accidents. This, this is really, I strongly recommend this and it helps. And if you are bobcat trapping, bobcats like to come to eye appeal, which sometimes will help. And it does not buy the set. So you're gonna hang it somewhere in the location where your trap is. My trap is here. So we're gonna hang this on this branch right here. So this way I can tell the landowner that we are tagged and he'll look for these orange flowers and he'll know. If you guys like our videos, please like and subscribe.